These things, the Khulaq and especially, it was very extremely important tool because it is our own survival tool. I know we are going to talk about cancer. Back then, Inuit would say they would not complain. Back then, when elders used to talk about illnesses, we were taught that whatever you did, if it was positive or negative, it would come back to you, and that's how you will get sick. That's what I think about cancer. It's because what you did to other people negatively will come back to you, and you will get sick from that. That's how we were taught when I was young. Because we were taught by the elders, so we get sick by ourselves. And we do. And that's what I believe. If you do something negative to another person, it's going to come back to you, and you're going to get sick from it. And that's how I was taught, and that's how I believe cancer got created. My children, I would tell them, if you don't want to get sick, you better treat other people positively. No one person can be happy all the time. Even though you have to be happy, try to be happy, even though the circumstances are extremely negative. Sometimes we treat each other really good. Sometimes we treat each other really bad. And for that reason, our fellow Inuit, we have to love them. We have to respect them and care for them. Well, for me, I know that smoking cigarettes is very unhealthy. Also, the doctors nowadays always tells us that smoking cigarettes is very unhealthy. Well, back then, we used to tell each other to live positively, even if you used to smoke cigarettes. I stopped smoking cigarettes in 1988 because I used to cough so much and that I realized that smoking cigarettes by myself was very unhealthy. I would cough, I would go home, step outside and have a cigarette and I would cough constantly. But nowadays when I cough, it's not like it used to be when I used to smoke cigarettes. And then when I went to see a doctor who took x-rays of my lung, they realized that my lungs were not healthy. So I had to stop smoking cigarettes. I believe in doctors when they diagnose you for your health. If you don't eat properly and your diet is not proper, you could get cold easily and you can get depressed and you can get weak. Because if you don't want to get sick, your diet is very important for you to be properly maintained. Because if you eat properly and your diet is proper, your body will react to respect your own body. And that's how uh, I think, because when you are depressed, you don't want to eat. Well, especially young people today, they don't even eat raw meat anymore because they have been trained by the schools that that is not healthy. I have a child who will not even eat traditional food anymore, don't even eat raw meat anymore because they have been trained by the school. Even though they are in meat, they don't eat raw meat anymore. But back then, that's what we used to eat because we know that if you eat raw meat, that is healthy. And that's what I think we should be telling our younger generation, that food is very important to your diet for you to be healthy. It's according to your diet that you can either be healthy or unhealthy. You should tell your fellow Inuit that you love them and that you have to live well together.
and do not harm each other, live an ongoing life. You should be able to treat each other human beings properly, respectfully. Don't tell them that they are bad human beings. If you want to be treated right by other people, you have to treat other people right. <laughs> 